At 330, we're at Youngstown State, who's 1-2. and two. Traveling to Pitt, who's 3-0. and oh. Pitt favored by 25.5 points on ESPN2. Um, I'm sorry, ESPN+, Plus, not ESPN2. This game definitely not on ESPN2. Eli Holstein has gone 71-105. Going for 936 yards, 9 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Desmond Reed has had 44 carries for 319 yards and a touchdown. And Kanata Mumfield has had 16 catches for 255 yards and 3 t- touchdowns. Um, Pitt's been the most... It's been a surprising 3-0 football squad. Honestly, one of the luckier 3-0 football squads. Because the way you play against Cincinnati and West Virginia, they both could have easily ended up being losses, especially in a backyard brawl when you went by, down by 10 with four minutes left to go in the game. But Eli Holstein, man. Eli Holstein, a guy that I didn't even know before week one. I barely even knew heading into week two. He has become kind of a household name for Pitt fans and anyone who's really following the 3 0 field teams in sport in college football, um, he's led Pitt to a surprising 3 0 start. And a little bit surprising because I think a lot of people expected them to lose that West Virginia game. A lot of West Virginia fans were hyping up their team as a chance to go to the playoffs this year. Uh, well, West Virginia definitely hasn't looked like a playoff team early. Pitt has looked solid. And Eli Holstein has been a major reason why he stepped it up late in the Cincinnati game. And he stepped up big in the the West Virginia game to get his team to that win. Um, Pitt has looked like a surprising 3-0 and squad, but a surprisingly good 3-0 and squad. Um, I'm going to be interested to see how they move going forward. You haven't started your ACC play. That starts next week. You've gotten your, all your out-of-conferences out of the way. Um, this is a great tune-up game heading into, again, I think ACC is going to be tough this year. I think there's a lot of teams. I think it's a very deep league. I don't think it's very, like, I think there's a lot of teams that could easily be competing for an ACC championship this year. And throw Pitt into the mix if we're talking about that, because, man, Pitt's been playing some tremendous football. And Eli, if Eli Holstein can continue to be a hero for them, they can win some football games this year. I think, obviously, Pitt's going to win this one. They're way better than Youngstown State. as shown by the 1-2 and two record that Youngstown State currently has. Pitt is playing some really solid football. I like Pitt to win and cover at home.